you can see, brought this outside. I've been doing this, I've been doing this for about 10 minutes now. Let's say it a little bit. Brought a couple of pony clamps out with me to hang these things to dry. And the fence, when we're done, we got to do right now is uh, rinse them out. You don't want to get your hands in there. So, we'll just open this up. Turn the water on and uh, let water uh, neutralize the acid. So we're just going to kick back and rinse out. Okay folks, we're going to do some rubber distress today. Uh, shoes are nice and dry. Lord bless us with a pretty windy March day here in uh, rural Utah. Uh, what A lot of people like to use spray paint, but I like to use wood stains. Got two different colors. I'm a carpenter by trade. I got like uh, driftwood, golden oak, and a couple of touch-up stain pins and a couple of really black permanent marker sharpie or whatever uh, permanent black markers that's what we're going to need today to start doing this project and you're going to need a rag I found some old laces that uh, I got millions of them so I just soon use an old pair than rough up a new pair alright got my lemon here First thing you want to do is uh, take a marker, permanent marker, and uh, kind of just draw around here. That one's kind of dry, so we'll try a different one. We're just going to color them in a little bit so that it doesn't have to be perfect. Just going to add some scuffs. <laughs> to the shoes with the marker. That stain's gonna rub it around, so don't worry. Just adding a little bit dark, making it so it's a little darker. I'm gonna take pictures of these and probably just put them up for sale on eBay. I'm not gonna wear them. So might want to check the side out if you want them. They're size 11 in men's. Uh, just go to our store at Vintage Converse. I'll show you at the end the address. And what you do is you go to the site map and look up member on eBay. Go to the site map up in the right top corner. Click on that and then go to um, find a member. Hold on, the phone's ringing. See who that is. Hang on. My folks got to answer those important calls or my members sometimes in my church and that's who that was so I always got to tend to my flock. Anyways you want to get these with your marker make sure you get down on the line draw around the whole edge of the rubber here down right here so you got black all down in each area like that along the back there and all along the top edge of the the rubber that goes around there because what that will do is give that effect of uh, a little bit more distress uh, you want to make sure I already did some of these while I was on the phone along the backs of the heel tags all along the toe down to that one for now going to do this one next right there just along the edges there just trace around all the all the rubber here like this because you want to make sure that black is there because that's going to help the effect all along up 
here because that's where the wear look. That's where the wear will look. Once we get that done, okay, we're done with that. Put the phone under the desk. Markers are done. Okay, grab my rag. Old Palmer shirt that kind of went south on me. We'll just uh, tear off a piece, hopefully, here. Okay, take my lens, open up this wood stain here. Work fast. I don't know how long my batteries are going to last. I'm going to have to change them out on the camera. Remember, I'm a preacher. I have to give you an encouraging word. The Bible says in John 1.12, it says, To many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Alright, what we want to do is start running that stuff around. Smear that black marker. That's, that's where we're getting our effect from. Is a little bit of black from the Sharpies. Need some more stain here. Almost out. But uh, just keep working that stuff around. Cares if you get a little bit on your canvas, just adds to the effect a little bit, gives it a little more distressed look. Starting to really blend that black in. You might want to do this outside or in your shop or in the garage. Definitely don't do this inside the house. Stuff stinks. Your mom or dad or wife, husband, I don't know who's watching my videos, but uh, they might not appreciate this stuff all over the house, so make sure you do this in outdoors, or me, I'm blessed with a shop that I just put up, me and my boys, so uh, God is good. Alright, we're really getting that uh, stuff start to take shape here. We've got to get that marker broke loose on on there. Because that marker is just there to help darken the edges a little bit. And that toe cap. As you can see, edges where the, where I darkened around the edges is still leaving a little traces of the mark. Now I'm going to turn my rag around, start wiping it off. A lot of people like to use black paint or silver paint, spray paint. Me, I, I like using stain. I think it works better. Gives it a more of a thin look. Everybody has their own ways of doing things. This is how I like doing them. We're going to hit this a little bit with our sandpaper before we're done, too, so, got to have that sand block handy. What you're trying, what we're trying to do now is basically clean off the marker. That's what we're doing now, is we're trying to clean off the marker. Start the Take shape here. Okay, that one's pretty done for now. Time to do this one. I'm going to turn the camera off for battery's sake while I do this one. You can pretty much see what we got to do here, and I'll be back in a few minutes. 